Hey guys, it is Kay Jones coming at you with another video and this video is basically going to be on how to get a dragon defender in old school runescape. My character has an Avernic defender which is the highest level defender you can currently get in the game as of March 30th, 2021, but the dragon defender is the one, the best defender below it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the details. In order to get into the Warriors Guild, which is where you need to enter to get uh, defenders, you need to have an equivalent of 130 in attack and strength. So you can have 60 attack, 60 strength, 50 strength, 70 attack, as long as it adds up to 130. Or you can also have 99 in one of those skills. So you can be like 99 strength and one defense. Um, but basically either or highly recommend you being 60 strength and 60 attack and above because it's going to be easier for you to get defenders that way, the higher the stats you have. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to birth rope, which is right here. The way to get there is a games necklace in old school runescape. If you're an Iron Man, you can make a games necklace. Or if you are a main account, you can buy a games necklace. I am an Iron Man, and in my case, I believe I made a games necklace. But since I have access to my house, I just select the games necklace tab and hit birth rope. So once you get a birth rope, you're going to uh, go ahead and go west. And you're going to open this door. Now, the best way to get tokens, which tokens are used basically to enter and fight ogres. Ogres drop defenders, and they drop each tier defender. So if you have a bron you first get a bronze defender, then you get a steel defender, then you get etc, etc. Et and I'll show you all how to get that. So first, we're going to start off with getting tokens. And my favorite way and the fastest way to get tokens is using um, a set of armor on this magical animator. So the way you can do that is you can use any set of armor. You can use steel, black, mithril, ruin, addy, and basically you need the plate body, the plate legs, and the helmet. There is a rare chance that you can lose one of these pieces um, in the animator machine. It's very rare though. So I'm choosing mithril because it's easy to kill and it gives 25 tokens each kill. Obviously, if you use Ruin or something like that, you're going to get more tokens, but the mythical armor creature is going to be harder to kill, if that makes sense. So as you can see, you need to start collecting tokens. I would suggest collecting 500 tokens to start off with. So I'm going to go ahead and collect 500 tokens, and then we'll get back to this. And I'll show you all what to do next to collect your first defender, which is the Bronze Defender. Okay, I just wanted to record this. We have somebody over here in the Warriors Guild going for their defender, and I see that they're killing animated black armor, so they would have the helmet, the body, and the plate legs. They are 69 uh, strength and 66 attack, so because those two levels add up below of, above 130, they're able to get into the Warriors Guild and work on their defender, so that's what they're doing here. And they're collecting tokens right now next to me. I'm at 355 tokens and I will be back um, when I buy 500. Now I think earlier I said you need to like level through each defender so you need to get the bronze defender, then the iron defender, then the steel defender, then the black defender, then the mithril defender and you just keep going up until you get dragon. That is correct. So it does take quite a while and you have to be patient because it is dependent on uh, RNG which is a random number generator based on if the ogres drop a defender or not, but I'll show you all that process. Okay, I have above um, 500 tokens, but I want to mention that there are other ways to get tokens in the Warriors Guild. This is just the fastest way, so it's the only way I'm going to show, but you can do like games and such around the Warriors Guild, and that's another way to get tokens. Now for your Dragon Defender, I can't say how many tokens you'll go through, it completely depends on your luck, so I, it's really hard for me to say. But let's go ahead and go for the first Defender, which is the Bronze Defender. What you want to do is go up this staircase in the Warriors Guild, doo -doo -doo -doo. and there should be this little entrance area. Um, I see that you have one of the Ruin Defenders. Well done. You should speak to my apprentice and treat yourself to stronger Cyclops. 
yada yada yada. I've already had the highest defender, but basically when you're first doing your bronze defender, you're going to come, which is the first defender. You don't have to have any defender at all. You just enter here and you have your tokens and you start killing these cyclops. I thought they were ogres, but they're cyclops. And kill these and eventually check each pile of bones and each loot that they drop and eventually it's going to drop a bronze defender. As soon as you have that bronze defender, walk out the door and show Kemfrena, the bronze defender, then she will be like, oh, excellent job. Now you will be able to get an iron defender, etc. And then, um, then these guys will drop an iron defender and then you'll show her and then they'll drop a steel defender. Basically, they will keep dropping the next defender up until ruin. But you need to make sure that you show this chick the next defender that you receive. So if you're in here and you got an iron defender and you're just chilling and you keep killing Cyclops, you're not gonna get a black defender. You have to walk out, show her the iron defender, then re-enter and you will be able to get a black defender. These Cyclops will drop all the way up to ruined defenders as you progress through each stage. Once again, you need to show her the defender you have. So I want to try something real fast, um, since I already have a defender on me. Let's remove this defender on me, and let's trade it out for a shield. So, I'm sorry, ignore my bank. I'm just going to bring a Dragonfire shield, I guess. Now I'm going to try to enter, because I don't have a defender on me, and I'm going to see if I can go for a bronze defender. So here we go, let's go ahead and enter. Please leave me alone, chick. Aha! So because I didn't have my defender on me, she lets me enter and says, okay, basically I'm going for a bronze defender. Now watch closely. Okay, so I got a ruined defender drop. For some reason, it knows in my bank that I've already been through this whole process. But as you can see, you will check each bone sack, whatever, and look for a defender drop. Then you will walk outside and show her the defender you've received so you can upgrade to the next defender. The max you can get is Ruin. You won't get Ruin right away, you'll get Bronze, and then you show it to her, go back in, and then you'll get Iron, etc. Um, the, the, the tokens decline over time, if that makes sense. So, um, the longer you're in there, the tokens will suddenly just decline and decline. And once you've gotten the Ruin Defender, you can go for a Dragon Defender. So let me show you that process. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where's my other Defender? The Dragon Defender is in a completely separate area. You're going to be going downstairs for that. From my understanding, the Dragon Defender, if you go out this back door and climb down this ladder, there are going to be like stronger ogres downstairs, as you can see. And you'll still t need to use tokens to kill these guys. But these guys drop dragon defenders. Now note, in order to enter through this door and kill these Cyclops, you need to at least have a ruined defender. So you need to kill the ones all upstairs before you come downstairs. I am still trying to go for a dragon defender. I'm at 300 tokens. I remember whenever I first was going for my dragon defender, I it took me forever and these Cyclops are not easy to kill for lower levels. So, whew, it could take y'all a while and just, just be patient. Oh my God, I finally got a dragon defender. I'm sorry, it takes forever. Yes. Okay, I got one and that is with max combat it still took me a while um when you're a lower level it can take a really long time i think that drop rate's like one in 100 or one in 120 of these cyclops but anyway that is how you get the dragon defender now if you still are watching this video a uh, fun fact i will show you how to make the avernic defender the Avernic Defender is the highest tier defender in the game, which is what I'm wielding right now. And if you're an Iron Man, you receive the Avernic um, basically from Theater of Blood, which is raids number two, um, which is in my bank, my atrocious bank somewhere. Oh dear. Well. Uh, well. So this is the Avernic, 
It's a hilt and you can use it on a dragon defender and it will make the Avernic defender. You can also buy the Avernic hilt on the Grand Exchange. It's very expensive though, but that will acquire you the best defender in the game. Now, I highly recommend just using a dragon defender for a good amount of time, but I hope this video um, helped you all out and good luck on your dragon defenders. It takes a long time, so be patient, but it's so worth it. Have a good one guys and um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'll put it in the description below. My Instagram is all Star Wars based though. So if you're not into that, don't worry about it. And click subscribe and like on this video and I'll catch y'all later. Bye guys.